Hi guys, my name's Chris, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro. Now, if you're coming from other video editing software, you probably find that you're used to adjustment layers and they're just not available in Final Cut Pro, or are they? Well, if you go over to Final Cut Pro, you'll find there's no such thing as an adjustment layer, but I have found a way to actually use adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro. You just have to have a bit of a workaround and that workaround involves downloading something from my website. So if you head over to ChristopherOxley.com and uh, store, there is a link in the description box below, but download the adjustment layer for Final Cut Pro X. Add it to your cart, it costs you nothing. You don't need to put any payment details, anything like that, just skip all that. When you've downloaded it, if you need help on using plugins, I have a video. There is another link in the description box below, but make sure that you put it in the titles folder in your motion templates folder. It has to go there, otherwise it will not work. So now you're in Final Cut Pro and you want to add an adjustment layer. So in the top left, you have your titles. Under Christopher Oxley, you've now got your adjustment layer. Just drag that out on top of the clips you want to change and span it across all the clips that you want to modify. If I wanted to change the color of this, maybe I just wanted to make it a bit duller and I select the adjustment layer and drag the brightness down here. You'll see that this brightness has affected both layers and all I've done is change the adjustment layer. You can also add your effects and other stuff directly to the adjustment layer like this. So if I want a day to night, now it looks like my dog is out in the park having fun at night time. You can toggle the adjustment layer on and off. If you highlight it and press the V key, it's really good if your computer's slowing down while it's rendering loads of effects. Like if you're doing like um, LUTs and all that sort of stuff, it can really bog your computer down, especially if you're in 4K. So toggling your adjustment layer just disables the effects for everything. It'll help you with your editing and then you can just toggle it back on when you're ready to go. That is it for adjustment layers. If you've got any questions, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Check out my website for any additional plugins and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more editing videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.